I'm here with a 2015 Ford Focus SE and today I want to do a, a, a video on the 10 things you didn't know about the Ford Focus. It'll cover all the performance and interior and exterior features and some of the things you didn't know about it and that are very very surprising so stay tuned. So one of my mottos is just to get the worst things out of the way first and the worst thing about this car and that's one of the little facts that you might not have known about it is that it's actually Ford's highest warranty claim item uh, in pretty much the last five years. The uh, transmission on this is shared with the Ford Focus uh, and the Fiesta, the, both with vehicles that have the transmission. It's a dual clutch DCT six-speed automatic that was introduced to save gas mileage um, by using a dual clutch setup. However, the clutches have premature wear and some of the, uh, let's say, transmission fluid gets in the clutches. Um, since it's a dry clutch transmission, it shouldn't have fluid on it basically causes the clutches to prematurely wear out and you'll feel a little bit of slippage on this. So that's just one more thing that you may not have known about the Ford Focus. Another thing you may not have known is that the Ford Focus, this generation of Ford Focus made from 2012 to 2018, was made in seven different manufacturing plants around the world and Ford made this the first global uh, platform for the Ford Focus. So it was sold throughout many different countries and had seven different manufacturing plants around the world with North American bound Ford Focuses made in Wayne, Michigan. The third thing you didn't know about this generation of Ford Focus is that the last North American made Ford Focus was made on May 4th, 2018, so just about two months ago. And it'll be the last Ford Focus made for the North American market in North America. The next Ford Focus will be called the Ford Focus Active and that will be a raised um, hatchback that has front wheel drive and body side cladding and a few SUV cues to help appeal to SUV buyers while still having the versatility and fuel economy of a hatchback. The fourth thing you didn't know about this generation of Ford Focus is that the navigation equipped models you can actually say I am hungry and you'll have um, restaurants will show up on your navigation screen using the, the sync voice command feature and if you say I am cold or I am hot the climate system on navigation equip models will change to your desired temperature. The fifth thing you didn't know about the Ford Focus is that the wipers have a uh, self-correction feature so if the windshield wipers are in an odd orientation like if they were hit after a uh, I don't know some type of object hit the windshield or if it's raining outside and all of a sudden the windshield wipers get out of their wrong orientation when you turn off the car, you'll, uh, they'll have like a self-correction feature that you can demonstrate here. So if you saw that, it actually just corrected its orientation to make sure that the left wiper blade was on top of the right one. So that's pretty cool about this generation of Ford Focus. The sixth thing you didn't know about the Ford Focus is that if you have the windshield wipers on in their intermittent settings, so like this, and you put the car into reverse on a five-door model, the uh, rear wiper will actually wipe once to, because it's anticipating that you're gonna look in your rear view mirror. So if I put it in reverse, the windshield wiper automatically goes and wipes once when you put it in reverse and your windshield wiper setting is on the intermittent setting. The seventh thing you didn't know about this generation of Ford Focus is that if you can enter the uh, wiper service mode by holding the stock down, your windshield wiper stock on the right side of the steering wheel immediately after turning off your engine. So if I turn off the engine and then hold the wiper stock down right after and then let go of the stock and now your windshield wipers are in their service mode so you can easily replace the wipers or prevent any ice buildup from happening on the wipers in the winter time. The next thing you didn't know about this car the, this generation of Ford Focus is that there's actually a hidden diagnostic mode, a test mode for the center gauge cluster between the tachometer and the speedometer. And to in, in order to activate that, you first put the key into the um, accessory position. So if you put it in the accessory position, no lights really show up. All you see is a little Ford symbol for the backup camera and the radio um, LCD display. And then you hold down the OK button for five seconds. One two, three, four, five, and then you turn the car to the uh, run position, and then keep holding the button until test mode will show up on your screen. So keep holding that OK button, and now let go as soon as you see test, and now you can kind of just cycle through the, um, 
the different uh, modes that are in the test mode. So basically what you got is um, you have a gauge sweep, so it will cycle your gauges so you can see if they all work. You got a red, kind of red screen, and it kind of moves your needles to green screen, blue screen, multicolor screen, um, and then LED test so you can see all the different lights that the car has. So even though this car doesn't is not a diesel or has fog lights, um, it still has those lights built in there for other models. It's got a blind spot light, uh, downhill assist light. So you got kind of different lights that you don't even apply necessarily to trimming your vehicle that you can see on here. You have a chime test. You have your different chimes and then this is like your rating for eco mode like how well you do as far as gear shifting in eco mode um, then you have some different software versions of the of the car manufacturer no diagnostic trouble codes so that's always a good thing so if your car has been acting up you can look in here and see if there's any codes that have been um, stored in your car um, if you're driving along, you can see your speed in kilometers and miles per hour real time. And then you can see your um, engine RPM, like if you start up, like if I were to start up the car right now, um, then you can see your engine RPM go up, which is pretty cool. And then you have your odometer, fuel percentage, fuel flow that starts your the timer like as soon as you switch so if I were to switch to the next thing go then go back it would start back at zero and then um, your engine temperature in Celsius your battery voltage so 13.9 volts distance to empty I think this is active fuel economy but I'm not positive RAFE AF, uh, AFE bias AD input and then your gauge sweep is the first thing again so those are all the different modes that you can activate on the car, and um, it's just it's pretty cool. I'm uh, very impressed that they have these things built into the car, so it's, it's nice that you can check on the different things. So in order to exit the mode, you just hold the OK button for another five seconds, and then it will exit the test mode. So that's pretty cool. The ninth thing you didn't know about the Ford Focus, and this applies to the ST as well as the RS of this uh, generation of Ford Focus, is that there's actually a radio diagnostic menu. So what you gotta do is have the radio on and I have the volume really low so I don't um, uh, trigger any, um, any copyright infringements on the song. But basically what you gotta do is um, hold down your skip button, so right here, and your eject button at the same time for up to 20 seconds and then you'll enter a test mode for the speakers. And it basically runs a test for about, oh, I'd say about 10 or 12 seconds on your speakers. And then it shows up um, this thing on the menu, which uh, gives you like three different options. And you can just scroll through them using your radio controls. So these are just some diagnostic menus that may not be of any use to you. You can't hit OK. It doesn't, um, if you hit OK, nothing really happens. Um, I think you have to have some type of diagnostic test equipment set up. Um, usually like a dealer level scan tool or something in order for this to, to actually show up as a selectable option. Then multifunction display diagnostics. Um, Alright, so that's about it for the radio diagnostics. It's just kind of cool for you to see and um, to exit the mode when you're in that radio test mode you just hit the uh, upper right hand button right there to exit the mode and it'll bring you back to this, this screen right here. So that's the ninth thing you didn't know about this generation of Ford Focus. All right, so the tenth thing you didn't know about this generation of Ford Focus is that all of the vehicles with the dual clutch transmission have a very easy to activate launch control system. Um, in high-end ones with sports mode um, in the transmission level lever, you can shift to sport mode or you can just leave it in normal drive. In this car, we just have um, a drive position. So you just leave it in drive and you can turn the trash control off or just leave it on. We'll leave it on for this demonstration, but basically what you gotta do in order to activate it is just have it in drive or sport mode, left foot brake, and then uh, floor the gas pedal. And then, then what you gotta do is you just gotta floor the gas pedal and hopefully the car will 
will want you to activate launch control. All right, so now it's revving, and then we'll let go of the brake. And basically the car just took off and launch control was engaged. Spun the tires a little bit, but it's pretty normal. So that's uh, the 10th thing you didn't know about the uh, Ford Focus of this generation. So this was a video on the 10 things you didn't know about this generation of the Ford Focus, and this applies to all the performance versions, including the ST and RS, uh, made from tw late 2011 until uh, 2018. And for some markets, this generation of Ford Focus will continue to be made for at least another year. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.